Good afternoon, my name is Karen Shainung. I'm with the Coda Bears team, and today I'm going to present on using the BL Tester Utility. The BL Tester Utility is a little known tool for working with your Epicor data. I have heard the BL stands for Business Layer or Business Logic. Either way, it is using the business objects and methods to retrieve, review, and work with data from Epicor. Today we will show an overview of how the tool works. We definitely do not have enough time to see all of the functionality, but you will get a taste. Now let's take a look at this relatively unknown tool for Epicor data users. We will review each of the topics listed here on this slide in more depth on the following slides. Setting up your BL tester tool and knowing the location where to find it is the first hurdle. Then we'll take a glimpse at the business objects and methods for some of the business objects. We will see some of the tools available from the menu item on the BL tester tool on that slide. Then we'll take a look at an open method and view the menu items shown once you have a method open. Next comes the real work to start using the business object methods. This is fun if you have never seen it before. At the end we can see some actual examples using our training database. Here we can see the general setup of the BL tester tool. You will find the BL tester tool on your server under the Epicor folder and then the utilities subfolder and then there's the BL tester tool program in, in there. I've shown two different connections here for two different servers that we have Epicor connecting to the BL tester. The TCP address can use either the IP address or the server name. I found the IP address works best but you can also use the server name as long as your connection works when you use the server name. You can use the admin console shown here on the right to find the URL if needed. In the user settings area you put in the login information. You can choose three options username over SSL channel, username over Windows channel, or Windows authentication. You will then enter the username and password unless you are using the Windows authentication. The last piece to fill in will be your client directory. This will be the location of your Epicor DLL files, either locally or on the server depending where you are working with the BL tester tool. In order to start working with the business objects you will use the file open menu option and choose a business object DLL. These are shown in your client file and they're the erpcontracts.bo files. Once the business object is open in the BL tester tool you'll see all the different menus available or all the different methods available from the drop down box. Notice there's a return value and a signature. The return value is what will be returned by the method and the signature is the name of the method. Choosing one of the methods will present a screen with input parameters when appropriate which may include filling in values or may also include a data set. This screen will also have an invoke button to kick off the method after you have filled in the parameters needed. Here we can see an example of the get list method for the company business object. The input parameters are shown on the first screen and when we click invoke after filling in these parameters the results will be shown on the results tab. Most often the results will be collapsed and you will need to expand them to see the data. So now we can see the results for all companies that start with EPIC in the company ID. The results include all the fields in the company table for each of the companies listed. The tools menu in the business logic tester tool has three choices. The options choice will bring up the setup screen for your BL tester tool. That was the first screen where we showed the IP address, your connection method and username, and your client directory. You also have the option to change company or change plant. Choosing any of these options under the tools menu will bring up the appropriate screens to change company or change plant as shown here 
where you can update the setup options or select another company or plant as shown. As shown previously, using the file open, we can open a business object and work with the methods in the method viewer window. In addition, the method viewer has the menu items for printing data sets and printing methods shown under the file menu within the method viewer. So once you have a method up, you can use the file to print file menu from within the menu or method viewer to print data sets or print methods. And so here we show the print methods shown under the print methods file menu here and print data sets the results are shown under the print data sets menu item here. And to the far right we can see the only choice under the edit menu on this method viewer window is to clear the persistent data in order to start with a fresh data set for example. Also under the view menu in the method viewer we can see extended properties and connection info. Examples of the data for each menu item are shown on this slide. Here we can see the extended properties viewer. It shows all the different properties including the format of each field and what other properties are listed for each field. And then the connection information shows which server, which company, and which plant, and which user is connected to the BL tester. Here are some examples of using the BL tester to use the part business object and the get list, get rows, and update methods for the part. The left hand side shows the parameters and results for get list using the get list and then invoking the parameters when we have no where clause then all of the parts will be listed for the company that we're in. The middle section shows the get rows method where I'm selecting a specific part and the results are returned for that part only. So we can see we put in a specific part and then we have the data the part data set for that part only. And then the right hand side shows the update method which really does update your database so use it with caution. The update method returns void when it works or an error if it does not work. I added a search word of COMP by updating it and it, it says the results method returns void and then to verify that the update really worked I used the get rows again and put in that specific part again and then show the search word is now COMP which I can verify visually by using the get rows. Now we can review some live examples and if anybody has any examples of how they have practically used the BL tester with Epicor please feel free to add some comments to the YouTube video and let us know how you have used the BL tester. For example, with an earlier version of Epicor, I have used it in the past to hone in on the correct criteria to use for Service Connect software. Although now, Service Connect has a test option built in that can be used instead of using the BL tester. So here you can see we have the BL tester set up and we can see, looking at the tools and options, where I'm connecting and the different options I have for connecting to my BL tester. Putting in the connection method, the TCP IP path, and then the client directory, etc. And as mentioned, to start working with something, we would go to the file and open and then find a business object that we want to work with. And again, we'll look at the part. And most of the business objects will start with the get list option. That's where it will be by default. But you can pick any other options and they are listed alphabetically in here. And as you can see there's more than one possibility for get list. There's get list with the string where clause or get list by config ID, get list by warehouse bin, etc. etc. We're going to use the default one that they have and not put in any values in the where clause and then we'll go ahead and invoke it to be able to see a list of all the parts for this company. So then the results will show here 
and we expand it and then we can get the part list and see all the different parts for this particular company. We also have available the XML option so that you can you know get an XML version of your data set. So we did the get list and so now maybe we'll do a get row. So I'm gonna pick a get row with this part 00C5 because it does not have a search word at this time. Get rows. And I'm not sure if this is single quote or double quotes. I could look back at my notes to see, but I'm going to try a single quote first, and if not, then we'll come back and put double quotes. And it is single quotes. So we can see now that we got the results just for this part. And as mentioned, there is no search word, so we do want to update it and add a search word. So we're going to go ahead and use the update method and as we said to notice what it returns is void and the parameters it needs is the part data set so it starts with the part data set and you would put in what you want to update so the search word that I'm going to just put in here I don't know the class ID says PWR so I'm going to put power I don't know. so anyway we'll go ahead and invoke that and see our results say the method returns void. So now we'll do the get rows again and put in our part num equals 00c5, invoke that again and we should see our search word is now updated to show the word power. So as mentioned there are different items under the method viewer window for file we can print data sets and print methods you can clear the persistent data that's this checkbox here and you can also view the extended properties and connection info and then we mentioned there's other items under the file menu and the business logic testing tool itself you can open you can see what recent items you were in under the tools we mentioned you can change the company or change the plant and then the options to change your setup options. So now we have seen some of the options for using the BL testing tester tool with Epicor. As always I need to emphasize using this tool in your test pilot or train system first before trying it with your live data especially for any methods that will change your data like our last example the update method. I hope everyone learned something today and we'll start using the tool when you find the need to explore your business objects and methods. Be sure to check out other videos on our YouTube channel and pass along the information to your co-workers to spread the word about all the videos that are useful out here on our YouTube channel. Thank you and have a great day.